Hello everyone, welcome to the next session. In this session, we will discuss about artificial intelligence in mechanical engineering. Artificial intelligence has become a transformative force across industries and mechanical engineering is no exception. By integrating AI with mechanical systems, engineers are solving complex problems involving efficiency and driving innovation like never before. Applications of AI in mechanical engineering the first one is design and optimization. AI tools such as generative design use algorithms to explore multiple design options and optimize them for performance, cost and sustainability. Simulations powered by AI allow engineers to test designs under virtual conditions reducing the need for physical prototypes. So suppose if you are designing and optimizing your design you can use softwares which use AI in them. For example, you can use Fusion 360. It is a software by Autodesk wherein you can design your models and then you can optimize them with the use of AI. Predictive maintenance. AI enabled systems analyze data from machinery sensors to predict potential failures before they occur. This minimizes downtime, reduces maintenance costs, and extends the lifespan of equipment. So this is another application wherein you don't have to wait down for the complete breakdown of the machine. What you can do is you can have a predictive maintenance. You know beforehand that the machine may undergo some kind of failure and you can do the maintenance work such that you do not go for complete breakdown maintenance. You know after the entire thing is broken down. And sometimes what happens is if there is a complete breakdown, then the machine also needs to be replaced. Such things can also occur. So it's better to have preventive maintenance than you go for breakdown maintenance. The next one is smart manufacturing. AI enhances automation in manufacturing processes, enabling smart factories with real-time monitoring and decision making. Robots powered by AI can adapt to changing production needs and improve quality control by identifying defects earlier. So smart manufacturing is a complete revolutionization of the way the mechanical industries used to work. I will explain smart manufacturing in detail in a particular lecture. For today, we can only understand that AI enabled robots are now taking care of things like whether the materials are enough in the shop floor or new material needs to be ordered. If there is some defect, then it can be managed with the help of robots. So all these things are being done. We will see some detailed explanation of this. Next is thermal and fluid systems. AI models optimize heat transfer, fluid dynamics and energy consumption in complex systems. Applications include HVAC systems, turbines and energy efficient designs. With the use of AI models, you will be able to optimize the amount of heat transfer which is taking place in a particular system. You can go for fluid dynamics and energy consumption in complex systems. Applications are including the HVAC, that is the ACs these days. They are smart enough to understand whether the temperature needs cooling or it can be cut off. There are electrical geysers. You know, they also have this kind of a feedback system such that they are able to control turbines, energy efficient designs. So all these things are the application of thermal and fluid systems. Material science and selection. Machine learning algorithms analyze material properties and recommend the best materials for specific applications. AI accelerates the discovery of new materials with design properties such as lightweight composites or high strength alloys. So when you use AI based on the understanding of the materials, it will be able to suggest you the best material for the optimized design that you have made. Now these materials should be lightweight, they should have more strength, you can use composites or you can use high strength alloys. So all these materials can now be discovered faster with the use of AI. Autonomous systems. AI drives innovations in autonomous vehicles, drones and robotics which heavily rely on mechanical engineering principles. 
for design and functionality. Mechanical engineers collaborate with AI experts to develop systems that can navigate, adapt and operate independently. So now you have around you AI driven drones, you have autonomous vehicles which are driven by the AI and you have robots which are AI driven. So mechanical engineers when they collaborate with AI experts, they will be able to develop wonderful things and life will become much easier and less mechanical. Quality assurance and control, AI powered vision systems detect defects in manufactured parts with unparalleled precision. These systems ensure higher quality standards while reducing human error. So when you are involving humans, there is a lot of time required and then also the efficiency is not going to be great because humans aren't going to make errors. But when you use AI powered vision systems, you are getting the things done with the help of machines. So obviously the flaw will be lesser, efficiency will be more and time consumption will also be lesser. Energy systems, AI optimizes renewable energy systems such as wind turbines and solar panels by analyzing performance data and weather patterns. It also helps in designing more efficient mechanical systems to reduce energy consumption. Again for energy systems, when you are going to use AI, it will help you to predict data of performance by the wind turbines or solar panels or you can also determine the weather patterns so based on the amount of sunlight and wind in a particular area that is the two applications you can see you can get better results so what happens is your mechanical systems will now be reducing the energy consumption and they will be more efficient benefits of ai mechanical engineering increased efficiency AI reduces the time required for design, analysis and manufacturing processes. Cost savings by predicting failures and optimizing designs, AI minimizes waste and operational costs. Innovation, AI opens new possibilities for complex problem solving, leading to groundbreaking advancements. So this is just the start of AI, wherein AI is being used in mechanical engineering, but there is still a long way to go. because AI is still in its preliminary stage of application wherein everything is just being understood and being applied. So you will find better results in the next 5 to 10 years and there will be definitely a lot of innovation and advancement in mechanical engineering. Precision AI tools enhance the accuracy of designs, simulations and manufacturing processes. So precision is again something which we have always studied in mechanical engineering. It is the most desired phenomena and that can be achieved with the use of AI. Challenges and considerations, data dependency. AI relies on high quality data for training models and collecting this data can be challenging. So now we are talking about what are the challenges and what are the considerations that we should do when we are training our AI model. The first is data dependency. That is, you need to have good amount of data to train your models. What exactly AI does is it is going to take pictures of all the say defects which can happen in a particular part and it will start scanning your parts for these kind of defects. If defects are not found, it will say that it is completely okay and it is good to use. So what you have done is you have fed your model with the defects and now you are scanning and trying to figure out if these defects are there. That is what normal human eye also does. We also do the same thing. We know the defects with the use of our eye. AI is using camera. We are using the camera of our eyes and we are able to detect the defects. If no defects, we say that it is completely good to use. So data is very important and we need to find good data. Integration. Incorporating AI into traditional mechanical engineering workflows requires overcoming resistance to change. Humans have a lot of resistance to change. They have a belief that if AI is introduced, then their jobs will be lost. They will not be able to have a good livelihood. So because of that, there is a big resistance. So integrating all these things have already become a big challenge. But we need to grow. We need to understand that when you are using AI for your benefit, your work will be faster, easier. So this integration is a challenge as of now.
Ethical concerns, the rise of AI powered automation raises questions about job displacement and the ethical issue of AI in engineering. So as I told you, job displacement is a big concern in the minds of people. They feel that they'll become jobless. The same thing happened when computers came into the market long back in 2000. People thought that because of these computers and slowly when the high end computers started coming up, they thought that the jobs would be lost. But that did not happen. Humans cannot be replaced by machines, but human needs to work using machines such that they are able to get better results and there is more efficiency. Today you can see there is no household without a laptop or a desktop. It is not possible. The same thing happened when mobiles came into the market. People thought that if mobiles come into the market, then writing of letters would become redundant, telegrams would be redundant, the messengers would be redundant. It is true that to a certain extent, because of mobile phones, we do not write letters, we do not post things. But that does not mean that posting things have become completely redundant. It has become lesser with technology, things have become faster. Just imagine you living in a world now wherein you'll have to write letters and you don't know when the letter will reach the other person. Today we just write a text and it reaches the person within seconds or less than seconds that is in milliseconds you know it just reaches the other person so fast because of good growing internet so can you still imagine living like that i don't think so so in that case we need to also use ai and we need to stop brooding over these things that jobs will be lost and we'll not be able to function better it is just that ai should be used for the in an ethical way for our benefit skill gaps engineers need to develop ai related skills such as programming, data analysis, and machine learning. So this gap is still there because we are not well versed with AI related skills. We don't know programming, we don't know data analysis, we don't know machine learning. So what happens is there is a resistance, there is a mental block. We need to grow over, we need to learn these things and use them for our benefit. So these are just skills, nothing to worry about. Future trends, digital twins. AI-driven digital twins will enable real-time simulation and monitoring of mechanical systems. Now, digital twin is a beautiful concept. Someday I'll take this up in a completely different lecture where I'll tell you what is digital twin, how it is being used. It is nothing but the virtual replica of your actual mechanical system. So maybe beforehand, you can make a virtual replica. You can understand how things are going to work such that it is very easy to work on the actual shop flows. And then also you will be using a lot of IoT, you will be using a lot of AI software such that it becomes easier and efficient. Collaborative robots, cobots. These AI enabled robots will work alongside humans to improve safety and productivity. So the jobs which will be harmful for human or it could lead to you know, lack of safety can be done by robots. For example, if you're working very close to a furnace, why does a human have to work, fall into the furnace, lose his life or get hurt by any accident? You can use a robot. If the robot is damaged, you can still get another one. So you can actually go for a lot of safety with the use of this concept. Sustainable design, AI will further drive innovations in eco-friendly and energy efficient mechanical systems. So sustainable designs will be made because of the use of AI. There is not much need of understanding eco-friendly these days because we know that our mother earth is already suffering a lot because of many things that we are using. So if you have sustainable designs, obviously you will be saving a lot of say pollution, you will be saving a lot of vibration, acoustics can be taken into consideration. So it will be a better way of dealing with things. AI driven additive manufacturing, AI will enhance 3D printing processes for faster, more accurate production. So when you have AI driven additive manufacturing, we are already aware of what is additive manufacturing. Again, I will take up these concepts separately in different lectures. As of now, you need to know that 3D printing is an additive process wherein you do not subtract anything, you add materials to build up a particular product. So 3D printing will be used a lot when we go for AI driven additive manufacturing because it's a good way of producing things. So in conclusion, AI is transforming mechanical engineering by enabling smarter, faster and more efficient solutions 
to complex problems. As AI continues to evolve, its role in mechanical engineering will only expand, creating opportunities for innovation and reshaping the industry. By embracing AI, mechanical engineers can stay ahead in a rapidly changing world and contribute to building a smarter, more sustainable future. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the applications of AI in mechanical engineering. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.